The landscape that have played a role in rich human history are chock full of new and exciting things to discover. From abandoned UFO homes to cave art redefining the origins of art, here are 15 of the strangest things recently discovered in Asia. Abandoned UFO House There's much mystery that surrounds this wild-looking UFO resort. Home to the last pod of an aptly dubbed Futuro, or UFO, house in Taiwan, it's also the location for the most giant pod of Venturo houses found globally. The now abandoned and eerie streets of this once beachside paradise still echo the village's bygone days as a hub of mid-century futurism. Though it's a mere husk of its former self, it still exhumes the possibility. The homes were designed by famous Finnish architect Matti Saronen to resemble quirky flying saucers. They were literally made to be UFOs. The prefabricated plastic homes were initially designed for ski chalets. The UFO-shaped house closest to the park entrance was equipped with fully functioning airplane-style doors and windows. Reportedly less than 10 genuine ventures exist in the world today, but there are more than 10 in this park alone, which is where the mystery comes in. These homes do not appear to have been sanctioned by the inventing architect. There doesn't seem to be any information about where they came from, or even exactly when they were built. Are they a replicant of the famed architect's style? Or did he get his style from this place? We may never know. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. Asia is home to some of the most dangerous creatures in the world. It's no wonder that the world's largest snake species can be found here. And no wonder the people there can do things like this without fear. It would take a daily sighting and hunting of creatures like this photo to get over that fear. Either that or being raised with them in your backyard. Though they're considered one of the most dangerous creatures on Earth, they're no match for the humans who have grown to live with them. Many small villages use snakes like this to feed the entire population. Are they hanging this snake up to be prepared for a feast? Or are they preparing it as a warning to something else? Let us know what you think in the comments below and be sure to use the hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Fox Fortune Teller Located in a grungy location known as the Mumtaz Mahal is a creature that goes by the name of Mumtaz Begum, a lounging fox with the head of a woman who can effectively tell your fortune. For 40 years, this attraction has existed and continues to draw crowds from around the globe. In reality, the fortune teller is neither a fox nor a woman. Underneath the facade of this strange fortune-telling creature of mysticism is the performer Murad Ali, a man who inherited the role from his father who had started the paranormal attraction. Every day, the actor cakes on a thick layer of makeup and bright red lipstick. Before opening the doors, he crawls beneath the table and pops his head out from the table where a taxidermized fox has rested for 40 years. He pops his head through a hole in the top to make it look as though his head is attached to a lounging fox carcass. And the show begins. A shawl is placed around Ali's head to hide the connection and the hole leading to his body. The creating being replicated here is known as a kitsune, which was said to be able to see the future. Children and adults filter into the building to ask anything from test results to Christmas presents. The fortune teller, in a classic fortune telling manner, provides practical life advice to navigate those situations. The actor also peppers in bits of story about the kitsune with references to his mysterious origin and his ravenous diet of juice and cakes. <laughs> Island of Dragons Komodo National Park is known as the Island of Dragons for apparent reasons. It houses the world's largest population of Komodo dragons. Aside from the astonishing facts, it's one beautiful place to observe. Located between the islands of Sumbawa and Flores sits the immense and extraordinary Komodo National Park. The park covers 29 volcanic islands that include the three major islands, Rinka, Padar, and Komodo. In total, the island is home to approximately 2,500 Komodo dragons and a plethora of terrestrial species like reptiles, birds, and mammals. The park's landscape is as diverse as it is beautiful. Consisting of such sites as mountainous hillsides, 
tropical rainforests, grassy woodland savannas, and powder-white sandy beaches that harbor an equally rich marine life ecosystem, the islands are a gorgeous sight to behold. The marine habitats have been reported as one of the world's richest flora and fauna and remain relatively unexplored. As a result, the park is recognized as a global conservation priority area. <laughs> train Alley Imagine between the times of 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. every day a train hurtling past your front door and through your city streets. Believe it or not, this is a genuine occurrence that many people have to deal with. During the aforementioned operational hours, drying clothes are pulled in, children are ushered indoors, and transportation methods like bikes are situated in a more appropriate area, free from the train's path. The street's residents hug the walls tight or duck into nearby doorways with a shocking nonchalance. Some with their noses pressed into the cell phones and going right back to what they were doing after the train passes. The tracks alone take up nearly the whole street, so any slight movements from the train could prove disastrous. Let's hope one of these never derails. It's been dubbed the Train Street for the increasing number of tourists arriving to glimpse the bizarre sight. The train passes the narrow road early in the route and connects to Vietnam's capital. <laughs> Kosik the Talking Elephant Elephants are intelligent creatures that astound researchers daily. Some of the smarts these creatures are exhibiting change the very way some people have looked at wildlife. That sure is a testament to the new discoveries being revealed. To give testament to their remarkable intelligence, Kosik the Talking Elephant is dazzling tourists and scientists alike. Kim jong Kap, the elephant's trainer in South Korea, says that Kosik's pronunciation have improved greatly since he first discovered he could speak back in 2006. Now he's able to pronounce seven words in Korean like high and good and practices every day. When a creature like this realizes it can vocalize and communicate, it will spend nearly every waking second of every day trying to refine that communication. At least in an intelligent creature, that's how it works. It's evident that Kosik is not only smart because it's an elephant, but because it's one of the smartest elephants around. <laughs> the most colorful village in the world. You once would have found rows upon rows of dull white houses adorned with boring brown roofs south of the city center in Malang, Indonesia. A team of artists sought out to turn this once considered rundown area into a bustling hub of art. They indeed accomplished their task with this outcome. They transformed this once poverty area into an art hub with a surprise around every corner. The work has even begun to affect the lives of the residents, who now seek more ways to improve their village. It's incredible what TLC and a fresh coat of paint can do to a place in mind. The impoverished former village was utterly transformed into an oasis of color and form. The project has delighted visitors and revitalized the local community with feverish enthusiasm. The village was once drab and heavily polluted. They lacked much of the economic resources required to build a healthy community. The art team showed the residents how action and togetherness can overcome any challenge. Sometimes it requires a little thinking outside the box and motivation. Still, eventually you can turn a struggling village into a thriving tourist town. The Living Bridge Where some civilizations cut and used ropes to form their bridges, the Serampunji pruned the roots of nearby trees in a natural way to entangle and form a bridge. The naturally formed bridge is one of the most unique in the world. Thanks to the living bridge and strong roots that keep it afloat, this bridge may be the strongest ever built and can transcend time for hundreds, if not thousands of years into the future. So long as the trees in the area stay alive and healthy, the bridge grows stronger every year. As the roots get bigger, stronger, and reach farther, so too does the durability of the bridge. The ficus elastica tree, from which the root bridge has been made, produces secondary roots from higher up its trunk and can easily perch atop huge boulders along the rivers or even in the middle of the rivers themselves. Ancient local tribes in the area noticed this tree's strength long ago and saw its strong roots as an opportunity to easily access the area's many rivers. Today, whenever the need arises, they simply grow their bridges to cross new rivers. Talk about green construction! <laughs> Mysterious Cave Art Scientists have reported that they may have discovered the world's oldest known figurative painting, found in a cave in Indonesia. 
The stunning scenery of ancient art portrays a hunting party painted an estimated 44,000 years ago. Even more importantly, the discovery is helping rewrite the history of the origins of art. Art has long been something humans have utilized to express and communicate the incommunicable. Until now, the long-believed story was that humans started painting in caves in Europe. At one point in time, the art from the Chauvet Cave in France was considered the oldest, with pieces dating back 37,000 years. Several years after this discovery in Europe, scientists began scouring the caves. Believe it or not, these works of art were long known by the locals, but none ever assumed the date they had been painted. It just goes to show that magic could very well be in your backyard and you know no better about it without the information. <laughs> World's Highest ATM A few years back, the Pakistan National Bank chose this record-breaking location to show off their technical skills at placing ATMs and the pointlessness bank infused into their system to get people to work with them. The bank decided to install the ATM 15,397 feet above sea level for marketing purposes. Since the station is solar powered, they don't have to worry about the machine ever running out of juice way up there and having to service it. The door leading inside the small banking station reads the words, World's Highest ATM, so you can't miss it. It's located at Kurunja Pass. This is one of the most exciting border crossing points because traffic switches from left-hand driving to right-hand driving as they cross from one country to the other. On the Pakistani side, all traffic is left-handed, while on the Chinese, it's correct. At this point, all traffic must merge to the correct side. As you might imagine, it can get quite confusing, especially for a tourist who has never dealt with that sort of traffic situation before. Bamboo Railway The bamboo trains have been a source of transportation, commerce, and communication for many living in Cambodia, where access to roads, buses, and other auto transportation is non-existent. They're trying to build roads to these areas in the country, but these noris, as they're called, are still widely used for the time being. Unlike the colossal locomotives and engines typically associated with a national line, these bamboo trains are tiny much easier to handle vehicles that any human can figure out how to use. This engineering masterpiece has a long, rich history of design through most nations with a train system. The body consists of a single platform, often made of bamboo or pallet wood, which lies atop a train wheel system. Massive train-like steel wheels can be found on the pair of axles beneath. A belt wraps around the rear axle and is connected to a small engine. The driver yanks a cord to get it fired up, and the engine emits an amplified mosquito whizzing sound, and it takes off down the track. Some of them can transport nearly a dozen passengers, a few livestock, or produce, and other trade goods. The trains connect small villages and provide a means of transportation for people and trade in the area. Without these marvelous, simple machines, these villages would have all but perished. Hmm. Monkey Spa the natural hot springs of Japan aren't only enjoyed by humans. In fact, the monkeys that live up there can often be found lounging and taking a spa day. Legend tells that the manager of the Korakuken, a nearby traditional Japanese inn that often boasts their hot springs, began feeding the animals back in the 50s. And as we know, when humans continue to feed wild animals for years on end, they tend to start making it a habit, even teaching their youth the practice and this is one of the main reasons these monkeys will come and spend time in the hot springs even if humans are present. According to locals, they aren't afraid of you and you shouldn't be afraid of them. Everyone is there to relax in the mineral hot springs famous in Japan. It wasn't long before other young monkeys began mimicking the daring monkey's behavior. Soon it was part of the whole experience for both the monkey and the humans. This soon led to the establishment of the Jagokudani Monkey Park in 1964 to keep both parties safe from any danger. Thanks to the efforts of many invested parties, it only took a few months to get up and running. Today, the park is where the snow monkeys live, freely soaking in their dedicated hot springs peacefully without disturbing the humans down the mountain. <laughs> Giant Hands Bridge an incredible bridge outside Da Nang in Vietnam dazzles tourists with its gorgeous views and elegant design. The bridge, seemingly held aloft by two giant stone hands, can be considered more art than a bridge, but it works both ways. This impressive structure is known as the Golden Bridge. 
It stands a whopping 5,000 feet above sea level, offering a unique look at the landscape unseen anywhere else in the world. The panoramic views of the surrounding countryside are nothing short of stunning. The footbridge extends almost 1,000 feet. However, it's undeniably the sculpted hands seemingly holding the pedestrian bridge that genuinely makes this bridge one for the history books. While the hands appear to have been carved from stone, they haven't. In actuality, only the skeleton beneath is made of stone. The rest is of steel mesh. <laughs> Bali's Abandoned Theme Park Abandoned theme parks always have some eerie allure about them. No matter what country you go to, there seems to be one or two abandoned theme parks that sit ominously on the outskirts, waiting for daring adventurers to challenge its terrifying landscape. If Disney World and Stranger Things had a child, the result would be Bali's Taman Festival Park, an abandoned theme park that nature has beaten back into submission since it was shut down in 2000. What remains is a mere husk of what was supposed to be. Equipped with a fake volcano, pits full of crocodiles, and the world's first entirely inverted roller coaster, the park was constructed with a budget of around $100 million and was anticipated to change the way people conducted tourism in the country. <laughs> Steps of Hampi The city of Hampi was once a grand city located in the Indian state of Karnataka. 250,000 people once called it home. Though it's filled with stunning Hindu temples, the meticulously crafted water tanks steal the show. The abandoned city is dotted with hundreds of individual ruins, home to countless architectural wonders. The tanks were ancient water tanks that could have been constructed by aliens. Like many Hindu temples in India, Hampi's majestic temples are accompanied by tanks used for ceremonial purposes. Though thousands of miles away, this was considered Hindu's most sacred river. Once the water was filtered into these large basins, the basins themselves were considered holy. For the water it held was holy, and these intricately designed structures still baffle scientists and architects to this date. It's truly one of humanity's greatest inventions lost to the sands of time. <laughs> Plane of Jars They may be reminiscent of James Cameron's film Alien, but these massive jars are far more impressive. Was it a massive storage site for food? This plane of jars is just as it sounds, a stretch of land with a dense collection of massive stone jars dotted throughout the Jiang Kuang region. Located in the Lao Highlands, these jars would have been considered advanced technology for their time. They've been primarily constructed from sedimentary rock and, ranging from 3 to 10 feet in height, can weigh up to 14 tons. These weren't the types of jars you'd bring with you over to a neighbor's house full of goodies. When these stone jars were made, they stayed right where they were. Heck, to this day, thousands of years later, they haven't moved an inch. The origin of the jars is still unknown. However, archaeologists believe that they were utilized between 1500 and 2000 years ago for food preservation. That's quite a time for something seemingly as simple as a jar to transcend history and time. Many researchers have theorized that the jars may have once served as funeral urns or food storage, which would have stood as a valuable place in society all those years ago. New and exciting things are constantly turning up around the globe, but particularly in human history rich sites like Asia, Europe, and Africa. So what will turn up next? If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.